Another day, another dollar in this beautiful world we call truck driving. Now, as you can see, my barber finally returned to work today. You guys got questions, and I got some answers for you. First question, Andrew, when are you going to custom paint the flat top? It's a good question. I actually tried to get it done a couple of times out in Texas, Dallas, Texas, but it never lined up. Uh, I didn't want to bob tail from here to Dallas, Texas to drop the truck off a whole week and come back and get it later. But at the time, I had Migos in Dallas that was going to pay the flat top. I believe it was around, I said like $3,000 or something. So uh, that never happened. They still out there too painting trucks. I don't know if the price is the same. However, Zimbabwe, when he did my brake chambers, uh, he was asking me about am I going to paint the uh, the blue truck since it's custom on the inside. And I was telling him, hey, you know, I don't know any painters around here. Well, he gave me a shop here in the area that paint buses, big buses. And uh, he said if they paint buses, they probably paint semi trucks. So he gave me, he didn't give me the exact address because he didn't know where, where exactly it was at. But he gave me the, the like the area it's in, you know. So I saved that and I just need to drive over in that area and uh, find the paint shop and see what they talking about. Uh, which truck would I paint? You know, I don't know to tell you the truth, man. Um... I'm not really into customizing trucks. Um, you know, I never bought like a drop visor, chrome bumper, fenders on the back. You know, I always wanted that stuff, but I never uh, took the time to do any of that. You know, go to the chrome shop. I've been to the chrome shop, but it was only because I wanted the tile shift and things like that. You know, the blue truck got customized because... I didn't like the inside of it, so that's why that truck it got customized, and also I spent like forty thousand dollars rebuilding the engine. So I figured, you know, at the time, Migos wanted twenty five hundred dollars to do the whole inside of that truck. So I was in um, Georgia at the time, busting like twenty k gross a week. So you know, why not? Times are different now. I don't make that kind of money anymore I'm, I'm over here at amazon matter of fact trucking well with my authority is now a side hustle so i don't really make money at all you know i mean my side hustle yeah so far in the last two weeks and then pay some money but you know uh eventually it's not gonna pay nothing because it's amazon okay now next question got a question from a, a husband and wife team I don't have the question in front of me, so I got to kind of paraphrase what it was saying. But basically, we got a husband and wife team out there. They got their own authority. They got their own truck and trailer. It's a reefer trailer. They own a truck and trailer outright. And uh, they do team driving. And the question they had was, should they get a second truck? Because the problem they're having is doing team driving, they're not getting enough sleep. You know, as a uh, couple doing team driving. So should they get a second truck and trailer? And that way they can, one person can drive one truck, the other person can drive the other truck, and they can try to make it to where they can stay as close as possible to each other, maybe book loads to like the same uh, city and, you know, things like that. So uh, they are married too, so I should, I should definitely say that. My opinion, this is just my opinion. Uh, I wouldn't recommend you guys going in two different trucks because if you go in two different trucks, you guessed it, the relationship is going to go two different ways also. So I would never recommend that. And uh, you're never going to be able to stay close to each other. Uh, no, you can go to the same state. You're not going to be able to. It's not going to work out to where you guys are going to be able to see each other not the way that you're seeing each other now uh i have made that work before 
in my relationship, but that's because we was local drivers and we was in the same city. See each other every day, nonstop, work beside each other. But you guys are OTRs, what it's sounding like. I just don't see how it can work. But I can give you some suggestions, though, okay? Uh, number one, you guys need a plan. That's the first problem because uh, I don't know how long you guys plan to drive as a team, but we definitely need an end goal, okay? That way, you know, it sounds like it's already frustrating right now. Y'all not getting enough sleep, which is good because that means the money is rolling in. The question that I got is, since the money is hopefully rolling in, if y'all getting the correct rates, uh, what are you guys doing with the money? Okay, now, first thing I suggest, if you don't own a home, you guessed it, get your home, pay your taxes, get your home, and use this truck and trailer, just pay it off, to pay down as much of that, you know, home as you can to just pay it off, okay? If you guys already got a home, and it's not paid off, use this team opportunity to pay it off, okay? And uh, if your home is already paid off, that's wonderful. Uh, next, I would just simply suggest invest the money into the stock market so it can at least be working for you guys while you're in the truck rather than just having it sitting in a checking account. You guessed it, doing nothing, okay? How could you possibly make a two-truck situation worse? So you thought I was done, didn't you? You do have your own authority, which is great. Everything is paid off, which is wonderful. You can make it work this way. You guys got a reefer trailer. You would have to get a direct customer in which this direct customer, let's say, for example, um, you was with Hershey's. You go to some type of Hershey factory, they shipping candy out, let's say from freaking uh, New Jersey down to Texas. They ship it out, you know, three days out of the week. And a reefer trailer has got to be temp control. You go down to Texas, and if they got something coming back up, that'd be wonderful. Now, if you guys hear something like that, then of course you can get two trucks, two trailers, and y'all can follow each other down, turn around, come back up. If you had a customer that runs like that, then yeah, sure, why not? More money. If you guys, because I don't know how much you guys gross in that, Let's just say the rates are not there. Let me give you some suggestions also. And these suggestions, uh, it don't involve the authority. If you guys need to make more money, now I don't know what you guys are making now, but let's just say if you guys want to like gross $20,000 a week as a team, some suggestions would be you could... Uh, Get into hauling military freight with somebody like Landstar as a team. You could get into like exotic car hauling with Reliable as a team. Hauling exotic cars, you can gross twenty thousand dollars as a team. Low deductions over at Reliable. You would have to paint your truck orange. Um, you got step deck companies like um, Swing Star with an S. I think they out of California. I want to say like Southern Freight or something. I'm not too sure. But uh, it's a lot of specialized companies that gross to $20,000. Even moving companies. You guys do team moving. But that's going to be stressful work right there. But you guys could make a lot more money. You know, changing divisions. Um... Like I said, I wouldn't suggest you guys splitting up unless you had some type of direct contract to where you guys could follow each other, you know. If you can't do that, no, you just need to come up with a plan of what you guys going to do with this money and start making it happen so you guys could, you know, get out the truck eventually and, uh, you know, let somebody else handle that situation. As long as you guys are working towards a goal, it won't seem as stressful as it is now. Now, you guys, comment down below. Let us let us know what the goal is so we can make a part two of the video so we can, you know, at least know what you guys are trying to accomplish um, running as a team. 
you know also what engine are you guys running that's what i would like to know what truck do you got what engine do you got everything is paid off that's wonderful all the money is coming to you guys or uh, how's the rates with reefer team reefer you know let us know down in the comment section down below let's see any other questions we have other questions but you know different video somebody said um am i gonna make a 501c3 corporation if you're talking about non-profit, <laughs> you guessed it. I don't run a non-profit business. I understand in a non-profit you can take a salary. I understand. I don't. I'm not non-profit. I don't do anything non-profit. If that's what I think it is, 501c3 with the churches and stuff. We don't. We don't. We, we don't do anything. Now we are for profit over here at the C to the A to the J Logistics. We are for profit, baby. We is about them Benjamins over here. We don't want to do no, no, no type of five. No, we ain't trying to get away from no type of tax code. We pay, we pays the taxes over here. We want to qualify for everything over here, okay? Um, we gotta get more truck drivers into investing, so they can have a way out of this uh thing we call truck driving. We need, we need. Yeah, we need more truck drivers investing. I know I said I'm going to show you guys how to make a brokerage account and all that stuff. I'm working on it. Me, myself, I haven't made an extra brokerage account yet because I'm still trying to see do I want to go with Wheat Bull, which is about the same thing as Robin Hood, or do I want to go like Fidelity or Charles Schwab or anybody else, which I think those platforms may be... It could, seem too difficult for truck drivers me i like robin hood it's nice and simple i think everybody can understand it we bull i haven't checked out myself i have no idea what it looks like i have to go check it out myself but some of you guys say hey andrew show us all right well then we'll see what we can do we'll see what we can do oh tesla is down today it's about 2 30 something a lot of people, uh, well, not a lot of people, you know. They got a little bit of people selling off, mm -hmm. just taking profits and stuff. It's a new year. They taking profits. That's all. Oh, uh, what is the sign rolling this damn shit? Huh. Guess part two will be a different video. Whoop. Y'all comment down below. Tell me what you think. If y'all got any advice for the uh, husband and wife team, let them know in the comment section down below. And uh, I'm working on intros for this YouTube channel and outros. So hopefully in the coming weeks and months, <laughs> this will get better. Because I'm no longer happy with the content on my channel. So I'm trying to see how I can upgrade it myself. Y'all get in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the like button, baby. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And we'll catch y'all tomorrow.